Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series or mini-series on Skull the Hero Slayer. We did a let's try on this and there was an overwhelming amount of people who wanted this to be turned into a series. So here we go. Skull, wake up. Hold on, don't lose consciousness. Hey, little bone, we will read through all this again. It's not too long. Did this kid die as well? This kid really shouldn't die once again. Which, which kid should die? <laughs> But alas, so Skull, if you did not watch the prior video, this is a roguelike action platformer, kind of in the style of like a, uh, a Dead Cells, but where you get to switch your your abilities by switching different into different characters, kind of, effectively. So kind of like, a, almost like a Wario Land-esque kind of a thing. Uh, Skeletong, oh thank goodness you're alive, I guess the shock knocked you out, wake up, don't you know who you are? Or where you are, or what you are? Or who I am, strange fellow. Anyway, such a relief. First, listen carefully. The attack of the humans has begun. The other skeletons are fighting with them. Move. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I can find a leg somewhere and fix myself. Get going. Press circle to go faster. No time. All right. So I am playing on controller. It is one of the unique experiences where I actually will be doing that. Uh, oh, little bone. Over here. You're safe. I can't move anymore. Press X to jump. X again to, to double jump. So one per one person mentioned, uh, since he was looking for a leg bone, this guy's got a leg bone. I wonder what happens if I do go back. Big trouble. They took the Demon King and the officials. Humans, who would give? A, who would have thought they'd strike the top floor? Me and the other skeletons are going after him. I'm running out of mana. You should save the Demon King and the rest. Take this. It's my leg bone. Press square to attack. I don't have much time. Please save the Demon King and the officials. Here's a leg bone. Aw, oh, man, I, I was kind of hoping that there would maybe be, like, uh, some kind of inter little interaction. I would think that that would actually be kind of a fun way to, uh, to go about it. Down an X to move through. All right, so. Oh, wait, that's right, we actually, uh, we, we gotta fight these sons of guns. Beep, beep. Save the witch. Save the world. Skull, you survived the attack. A cage that can seal my mana, huh? Looks like Carl can now has some useful mages. Skeleton guards just passed by. I told them I'll be fine and told them to save the Demon King, but a few of them insisted on trying to save me and got killed instead. I don't think the skeleton guards are enough to save the Demon King. Please follow them quickly. Meow. Let's go meow. Let's go meow. All right. But yeah, a lot. it's going to be a series or a mini-series entirely, depending on how much you guys uh, do continue to support. So hopefully, if you like it, make sure to uh, do the things that show that you enjoy it and like it. I won't say what those are on YouTube, but I bet you could figure it out. Aren't you the new Mew Guard? The Mew Guard Captain, what's happening right now? Oh, witch, you're safe. Little bones, you saved the witch. Must be your first time fighting against humans. You did so well. Apologies. Looks like everyone in the Skeleton Guard got killed. How do they? I mean, you're the strongest skeleton. Who did this, Meow? Who? Wasn't a person. It was an ogre. An ogre? Why would an ogre? What are you talking about? Some was strange was a dark, dark stone embedded in his body, and he was in a frenzy. Seemed like he couldn't hear what we were saying. His power was nothing like that of any other ogre I've met. He was too powerful. Dark stone. Little bone. I'm infuriated, but can't move further. Take my head, and I'll empower it with the man I have left. Fight them and save our people. So here is where we showcase the, uh, the, the shtick of Skull the Hero Slayer. You can see in the bottom left, we have uh, the different skull down there now in the different outfit effectively. We can also press L1 to switch back into the other one. We can switch between two skulls at any moment. I don't know if maybe further in the game there's a way to get a third skull or anything. That I'm not sure. Uh, but each skull has their own unique set of powers to them. Bop, bop, bop. And oh my, oh, he well, hello. Unique set of abilities. Like this one here, we got uh, our basic uh, slash right there on square is a little bit different. We also have this on L2. So like a flurry of blows into a blast, then we have that on R2, just a just a big old fireball. But there's a huge, uh, huge different variety of skulls you can get, and you can upgrade their rarities so that they're stronger, and you'll switch between them throughout the run. <coughs> oh boy. Is that the ogre the guard captain was talking about, the one in front of the castle? Meow? Hey you! Mongol. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Can we interrupt ourselves while we're doing that attack there? 
I guess we could do something like this. We could cheese it up this way. Peasy. Get wrecked, punk. But we're effectively getting through the tutorial already anyway, so... There we are. Ah, uh, hello, buddy. Hey, buddy. Was that the ogre that the guard captain was talking about? Come to your senses. Looks okay now. Let's get to the castle first and talk there. Meow. I love you, mister. It would be a shame if something happened to you. First hero. Useless fool defeated by a mere skeleton. Disgusting demons. Disgusting. Disgusting demons. Moon was shining very bright that night, but the boy just kept running. Well, a dark figure chased him from behind. He tried to run as fast as he could with aching legs, but he eventually got caught. The boy then fell on the ground exhausted, and the dark shadow loomed over him. And then... And then he was fine. Then he took a nap. I tried to watch the final moments of the boy, that poor thing. I mean, it's a poor thing. He took a nap. I I could go for a nap. I'm nude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember being nude. You're awake, Skull. Listen carefully to what I say from now on. Currently, the Demon King Castle is facing an unprecedented crisis. Hasn't been long since the peace treaty was signed and a quick ambush? It was impossible to stop. As much as I would like to drop a giant meteor on Carl for vengeance, treating the wounds of the first hero's previous attack is already too much. I have no other choice but to ask you to rescue the Demon King. I can't believe I'm asking this much from such a small skeleton guard. Please go and save the Demon King, our officials, and our demon friends. Take this! It's a scroll containing a dimensional spell. Help you store objects you find during your journey. Press the map to just check on the items you've acquired. Now, Skull, stay safe. All right, so here we go. We can figure out what kind of abilities and everything we've got. Uh, we got our items down here that we will be able to pick up throughout our run, providing us more passive effects. Quintessence? I don't think I ran into a quintessence in my brief time with the game. I've not. I've honestly, I've only played like, you know, the the, the let's try like 40, uh, 45 minutes, just enough to know the absolute basics. So we're gonna go in and do a run here. Now the game starts. The tutorial is uh, it's over. Do we have like a aerial nope like a ground attack ah! <laughs> here we go deep woods ah little bone where are you going are you trying to go to the forest i don't recommend going in there right now look at what the forest has done to me the ants are acting strange and the forest is aggressive well ants are not really hostile but let's just say they're being very violent i mean it's kind of hostile. The way they glare, I'm sure the humans have done something to them. After that day, so many humans have appeared in the forest. You really have to think twice if you plan to enter the forest. I mean, if you really have to go, that is. Be careful. All right. So I think this gives us a skull. This is just like a regular room. I don't know if one of them is necessarily tougher than the others. So as skull, we also have the ability to throw our skull and then teleport to it like that. It's a pretty neat little thing there. L2, and then we can teleport it with, with R2 there. Okay, is that a... Oh my god. Okay, so wait. That explosive barrel does not appear to harm us. That is um, that is definitely something I did not know during the uh, tutorial there. And that's huge. It's weird that it doesn't harm us, but I'll take it. Womp. Okay, so we can actually use that as fast travel, I suppose. I, I like that quite a bit. Here we go. What do we got? First skull. Living armor. All right, let's... Uh, ooh. Well, step one it looks sick as hell. Step two, let's actually read what it does. First of all, we will uh, read off what skull does. So, the youngest skeleton in the Demon's King's Castle Garrison, called Little Bone due to his small phys physique, when swapping... So, basically, when we swap from this skull to this skull, we'll perform a spinning attack with bone in hand, dealing physical damage... Uh, we can throw our skull, doing magic damage. The cooldown is reset when we pick it back up. Or we can teleport to it. Pretty basic. We're going to switch off of this at some point. 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a way to upgrade the base skull. Uh, you know, they say, I think that there is, actually. That might be an interesting thing to try at some point, if that's possible. And then we also picked up the living armor, a knight's sword and armor with only the soul remaining after the body rotted away. Uh, so, when dealing damage to enemies with skills, gains charges in the form of flame spirits. When the flame spirit gauge is fully charged, it goes into a state of combustion, dealing continuous magic damage. So it's kind of like an overheat mechanic, like we want to overheat. When a skill is used during the combustion state, the skill is enhanced and all flame spirits are consumed. Okay, I'm getting some serious rumble vibes, but you know, you know we'll see. Uh, burn, when swapping, creates a spirit flame dealing magic damage. Okay, I don't know what a, creating a spirit flame means. It might be an AoE, it might not be, I don't know. Flame spirit gauge is charged by 30%. Soul Knuckle is our first ability. It charges forward with its fist engulfed in spirit flames, dealing magic damage. Or Soul Sword performs a slash with a sword engulfed in spirit flames, dealing magic damage. Alright, so pretty straightforward sounding abilities. I think we just want to see what they actually do here. Okay, so we got a... L2 is our ranged... What on earth? The movement of that is so wild. All right, so let's switch back to base skull for a second so we can switch over and see uh, this heat gauge more specifically. Is there, where's the visual on it? Is that the heat gauge down on the bottom? I guess so, but we need to do damage. Yeah, we cannot, we couldn't uh, stop our attack there once it was going. It's very, uh, yeah, it's very brawlery, chunky kind of a, equipment here. What do you call it? I guess the skull. So this is slowly healing all of the units here on this map. If we break it, then we get that ability for now instead. Get wrecked. Oh! So I think that was the empowered... Yeah, that was absolutely the empowered version. I'm not seeing a very like clean way to keep track of it. I'm sure it exists. Alright, so where is this, uh, this healing thing? Is it... I think it's that guy, actually. Not a... Now that I remember it. Whoop. Alright. No, this is a pretty good weapon. It's a pretty good tool here. Checking. We almost have our heat gauge maxed out down there. Alright. Ooh. So that was the empowered version of that. Uh, can't remember. They both look like lances to me. Or like sword attacks to me. Soul knuckle. Alright, what do we got here? Ent skull. Okay, check out what that does now. Small Ent that was a member of the Forest of Harmony. When attacking with normal attacks with a 30% chance to perform an additional attack dealing physical damage. Tackle. Dashes are considered as attacks. Cannot dash consecutively. So we can't double dash. We cannot play Mario Kart on the GameCube. Uh, Eco-friendly appearance. When swapping, hides underground to become invulnerable. Then performs a rising attack, dealing physical damage. We also gain tree charge. Consecutively slams the ground while marching forward, dealing physical damage. Whoa. So, okay. So that counts as an attack. Interesting. 30% chance to perform an additional attack. Are we moving... Are we, like, slowly moving forward? There... 17, 11, 12, 11, 12, and 5. Interesting. So if this counts as an attack, in theory, it should also have a chance to do the uh, the double attack. If it counts as an attack, right? I don't know. It's not looking like it. Weird. All right. Well, uh, let's go with this place of treasure. I do want to see this ability here. Oh. All right, here. Does this say, yeah, it's a bouncy pad. Whoop. So, uh, yeah, I do like that we have that uh, built-in overheat charge that we get. It's super, super handy. Oh, my God. Hey, hey. Oh. Okay, so there we go. We got that charged up. And I, I, I guess I didn't waste it. It just was not as optimal as it probably could have been. Ah. Ooh, baby. Okay, this is a pretty fun little uh, little character right here. I will say right now, I'll make it clear that there is absolutely meta progression in this game. We are much weaker than we are going to be in the future. Like, if you see somebody else play this, 
I, and they are much further, keep it in mind that we are going to get stronger literally just by playing the game. The character is going to get stronger. Uh, okay, so we got the Vampire Fang. This is a unique thing about the game as well. Uh, a system down on the bottom, I'll explain. Elizabeth's Fang cannot be destroyed by anything under the sun. It restores 1 HP every 3 kills. It also has the tags. Uh, do these have tags on them? They kind of do, uh, but not necessarily. So this has the tags. I'll call them for now until I fi figure out the real name. Spring and Sorcery. You can see 1 out of 3. If we get three s or uh, 2 Spring items... When we move to a different map, we recover 10% of our health instead of 5%, uh, apparently, we're going to get right now. And if we get three, then we would recover 20%. So you can kind of specialize by uh, making sure to keep certain certain ones that you really like the passive of. Even if you don't like the item as much, I would imagine that that's going to be a, a thing that'll play into it. And then sorcery. Increase your skill cooldown speed by 10%. 10 it goes from 10 to 20 to 40 to 70 to 120 to 200%. Pretty crazy. That could be... I, I can see some really uh, goofed up combinations going on. I'm, You know, that ability is really nice. Uh, hold on. Okay. Oh, boy. No good. That's no good. I do not want to have uh, that guy on both sides of me there. Good morning. <laughs> God, this is that that's not breakable. All right, so this was uh, this was messing us up. We probably should have went all the way out to uh, to make sure we got that there. Uh, okay. Feel like we're gonna run into another fight at some point here. It definitely looks like I got hit there. Somebody told me that we don't get hit by the bombs. They're liars. Oh my God, I got lied to. It abs I absolutely got damage right there. 100%. I got lied to. Oh, little skeleton. How did you get in? I've heard some people accidentally drift into this place, but a skeleton. Anyway, welcome. This is your first time here, right? It's a subspace in the demon world that my ancestors created a long time ago. For now, it's being used as a shelter from Carl's invasion. You're looking for the Demon King. Perhaps you should talk to the other experts in this shelter. Good luck finding him. I'm going to eat some fish now. Meow bye. All right. So we can... Uh, uh, what is this? Restore 60% of HP. Double is incoming and outgoing damage. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a little wild. Alchemist. So we can switch our skull as well for free. Alchemy. Fairy tale alchemy. Endure Leona march endure um so we have 750 we can get any of these spring and sorcery so we don't have any of that increases magic attack by 45 percent for every spirit you have what's what spirit do i have a spirit one of the things on the left That'd be interesting. Um, standard issue Carlian armor and de straight up decreases incoming damage. Sounds like a good thing. Increases the skeleton soldier's physical and magical attack by 30%. Am I the skeleton soldier? Or is that one of the specific skulls? That's really... I'm going to buy this for now. Summons an imperfect dark stone golem every 15 seconds dealing magic damage. Outcome of research. Throw a variety of flasks dealing magic damage or throws a flask that blows on contact dealing magic damage upon uh, inflicts poison upon attacking enemies can gain up to six charges. Ah, so we can't switch back. <laughs> it's just not, there's just straight up no animation for it. And we can't, we can only attack in the direction we're looking. Interesting. Oh, there's that golem. Weird. Weird. Hello. Nice to meet you, young skeleton. If the situation outside settles down, I better go see the witch. You can learn a lot from talking to her. Who knows? She might have connections that raise the quality of my goods. Might as well see the ogre fella on the way. Oh, wait, he puts on, okay, he puts on the old skull if we want it. 
Have your fill. You can't find it on an empty stomach. Sorry, I forgot your body's not made, meant to hold anything. Oops. The others are too cumbersome. All right. Well, we'll check out this one just because, uh, for the sake of difference. Weird. Okay, so that just happens. We can't quite aim that either. Hello. One, two, three. One, two, three. I should do this too. One, two, three, four. Here comes the hero. Good, good. I finish like this and then... Yes, that's me. I'm the hero. Sorry, no handshakes. How about an autograph? Tee <laughs> hee. This would impress the first hero. I'm tired of being a puppet. Who are you? Just, what's the skeleton doing here? Good. I could use a bit of practice. Be grateful that you'll be featured in the first page of the next heroic adventure. So oh, I can do this. So that's, uh, that attack bot is like just straight up not going the right direction. Dang, you're strong. I didn't even do anything yet. Just trying to make sure that I'm facing the right direction for when uh, that comes out. Oh, man. I'm assuming that the poison does not stack. Nasty demons! Uh, yeah, there we go. We did it. Okay. I kind of want to try the other, uh, the other one there. Sure, let's do it. Uh, sure as heck seems like it's going to be a very large explosion. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I don't know. This, this one doesn't feel as, uh, as good for this fight. Yeah, nope. I'm switching back to, uh, to ranged because it is much better for us, I think, for this fight. God, I wish that we could, like, actually choose where that man shoots his ability. It just kind of happens every once in a while. Fuse Swamp, one hits, creates uh, an explosion, deals physical damage, movement speed is increased by 15%. Flash. Quickly teleports to the front. Is this... What is this? Flash, quickly teleports to the front. Does it give us an ability? I guess that's what it is. Carly and Recruit. We could... I'm gonna get this because I'm confused. Yeah, it's straight. Ah, it's it's straight up. It's fl it's flash. <laughs> On a busted cooldown. Whomp. Hello there. Yes, it's you, the little skeleton she mentioned. I've been waiting. Promise to help you. Don't ask why. Don't bother asking because I'm not helping you out of pity either. Well, that's that. You gain power from the heads of others, but the heads you've obtained are pitiful indeed. In the hands of a weak skeleton like you, those heads are not showing their full potential. Be thankful. That you met me. My abilities to work hand in hand with creatures like you. Collect and bring me some bone fragment. I'll help you with my powers. Adding the bones to your head. To the head you brought enables them to show the true powers. Also promise me one thing. Tell the witch that you've received my help. Don't ask why. Now go bring me some bones. What? I have zero bones. Okay. I got no bones. All right, uh, I love that we are healing a little bit because boy, we need it. Oops, I did not mean to uh, swap my ability there. Okay. Let's be a little, little bit safe here. <laughs> this is stupid, this, this class is so funny. We just literally stand there and fire. Like, we don't even, uh, we don't do any kind of animation. It just happens. I love it. It's so silly. Okay, I do have flash. I'm going to want to... Uh-oh. Oops. I'm going to want to use it. Ah, that's going to be a problem. I, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. It, it being a problem. Oh, boy. Okay. Ah, son of a gun of a man. Good. It works. Works. We're at 41. We are gaining HP, so, like, I can't be too mad. <laughs> Dingus. Oh, man. Look at him run. Look at his little feet go. What do we got? Just a whole bunch of money. I ain't going to be mad about that. No siree. Yeah, we didn't even use the flash once there. 
Nice. Oh, there's a secret, secret man. Oh my God, it's so weird. I wish I could, yeah, I wish I could aim in a different direction. Cheese it even further, you know? Seems like this is such a cheesable uh, game at the moment. Like, look at that. I could, if I felt like wasting my time, I really could. Oh, those are slightly homing, I see. Like, obviously, we're uh, we're way better off swapping there. Oh, that does feel really satisfying when you, uh, when you get it going there. Uh, you gonna break one day? What? You came to save me? I hunted more than a hundred humans before I got caught, and all they sent to rescue me was a little skeleton. You're kidding, right? Go bring the demon king. His castle was invaded? He was captured? What about the witch? You saved her? Ah, oh, I can't believe that. They humans are strong. They're heroes especially powerful. For now, I'll go check the Demon King castle. I'm sure I could stop them with the other senators. As for you, I don't really care. Take care. <laughs> Rude man, get out of my life. Water Skull. When dealing damage to enemies with normal attacks, gain charges in the form of moisture. <laughs> When charges are full, consumes the charges and unleashes a wave that drags enemies. Uh, wait. Drags enemies around, dealing physical damage. Tackle, dashes are considered as attacks, cannot dash consecutively. Okay. Dive when swapping, creates a splash of water that deals magic damage. Overflow creates a pillar of water. I mean, let's just check it out, right? Oh my god. It's so slow, that attack there. Oh, we have an aerial attack, though. And I guess this is technically an attack. Unique. I'm gonna keep mine for now, actually. Ah, we got 10 bones. You get bones for recycling the skulls. That seems like that, honestly, may uh, may well be the meta. So we get a double dash when we are this skull, so let's make sure we use that to properly move around. God, that scares me every time. I feel like it's a, an attack against me. But it ain't. Yep. Bip, bip, bip. I don't even know what this is. Increased attack speed. Oh, that's a wall. Oh my god. This is this is evil. So we have to kill that, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um. Can you go through the wall? Maybe he can go through the wall. Oh, he goes where I'm facing. Of course he does. This is just brutal, man. There we go. Okay, we should be able to breathe now. Ah. Yeah, this one, I'm definitely not feeling good with this one quite at the moment. Oh, boy. Kaboom. Didn't take... Did I not take damage there? When do I take damage? When do I not take damage? What's up with that? Increases the skeleton soldier's physical and magic attack. Are we the skeleton soldier? I would assume so. But it doesn't say skull. Uh, but we got endure up to two in, out of six. So damage received is reduced by 10% for two seconds when hit. And it can be stacked. Okay. Cool. That seems really, really, really beneficial. Having that go from uh, even just from one to two, I think, would do a lot. Just trying to see how we can aim this. All right. Womp. All right. The range seems like really uh, way better to use at this current moment for me. Knowing what I know. Being as bad as I am. Okay. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, God. Yeah, that really puts you... You're locked kind of into it, effectively. If we can break this, we'll get... Uh, extra attack damage, I think, there. Oh, boy. Get! Ah, I thought I could kill him before he actually got to me there. Whoop. Good stuff. That is a big old charge. Hello. 
the staff does glow purplish when my boy's about to come out. So, like, we can aim it more properly. It's just kind of, it's kind of weird, I'll admit. It's, it's a weird feeling one. Look at that freaking clown. Heart sorcery fuse. What is fuse? Do we have fuse? Amplifies physical attack. HP recovery rate? What? Do we do we gain HP over set over time? I do not know. When swapping, throws three jack-in-the-boxes upwards. Jack-in-the-boxes explode, hitting the ground, dealing physical damage. That's kind of fun. Uh, crit attacks increase... Critical attacks increase magic attack by 55% for three seconds. Increases crit rate by 5%. Hey, just increases your HP. That sounds good. And also it increases our sorcery, which is 10% uh, cooldown reduction. Sounds good to me. You know what? Ooh. All right. I mean, this this seems pretty cool to me. Uh, when damaging enemies with knives leaves a stacking mark that creates an explosion on the third stack deals magic damage. When swapping performs a backflip, throws multiple knives that deal physical damage. Highlight performs a rolling jump that throws multiple knives in random directions dealing physical damage. I mean, it sounds pretty good to me. It sounds pretty good indeed. What is the hell... Wait, increases dash cooldown speed by 10%. Winging flaps the wings of a Pegasus, gaining temporary invulnerability. Uh, so this is a new active then, huh? All right, sure. Let's kick it. Can we do this? Yeah, we can do this from an aerial position there. <laughs> Should I feel bad about this? Maybe. Don't make it so easy to do then, game. All right, let's uh. Whoop, 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 whoop. So do those? I wonder if those ones also. Oh my god. Interesting. Yeah. So like maybe like a higher attack speed with this would be really good, since it is based off of the um. The amount, you know, as soon as we hit with three. So, if it's like a flat amount of damage. Oops, that was not good. Oh, boy. Where do you teleport to, you stinker? If we can do that immediately above somebody's head, that seems like it'd be really good. Let's be real. Hello. <laughs> Uh, I'm not proud of it, but I'm also proud of it. So it jumps us up even further. So if we're like immediately on somebody's face, I bet you that'd be good. It like backs us up a little bit too. Weird. So we kind of want to like get to the other side of an enemy, face the other direction, and then cast it. Is that right? Yeah, that would be the ideal. That would indeed be the ideal there. Whoop. Bap, 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 bap. <laughs> bap, 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 Not good. <laughs> that, that guy is so wild. Yeah, that's that's interesting. The the method of which we ooh, we would want to uh, to be moving there. Oh, that did not go how I was planning, but we are, we're all right. We're all right. Just keep on smashing. <laughs> sure. Uh, Petty Thief. We tried this one in the uh, the Let's Try video, so I'm going to feel very comfortable just uh, ditching it. Effectively, it's, a, it's just a little sneaky dagger guy who uh, generates money. I'm not going to say he, like, he's bad because I think he was really, really good. And I... I would like to use him again, but, you know, for the sake of newness, for those who watch that. Ah, oh, shoot. All right. Oh, 
Here it goes. Hi there. Can we hit his hands? No. Ah, ooh. Weird. Oh, weird, 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 weird. Oh, God. Okay, that did quite a bit. No. Oh. All right, I'm loving that attack for this guy. Okay. You know what I want to do, though? Mash. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, that is huge damage. Oh, that's huge. All right. We're wrecking. Trying to make sure to uh, swap those bad boys. Ay, ay, ay. Get wrecked. Whoa. Oh, he's mad now? He's even... He's... Okay, phase two. I did not expect that. I genuinely did not expect phase two. Oh, my God. Ah! I want to blink, but boy, it's just... Uh-oh. Okay. I love that move. It's so good for this fight. What are you doing? What are you doing there? Okay, same sort of general idea. But then he's going to be uh, tapped out. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. New move. Uh-oh. Ay, ay. Cool down. I have my cooldown on my dash. No. Use the blink then, you dummy. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Who needs upgrades? Who needs meta progression upgrades? Not me. Not me. Oh, boy. Who mama. Hi, buddy. Oh, thank you. I temporarily lost my mind to some wicked power. What on earth was that black stone? I felt as if I was failing, falling <laughs> endlessly into the darkness. I can't believe I was basically its puppet. How are my people? Has the deep force lost her light yet? Seems a lot of things happened while I was away. I must go help my people. Where do you intend to go? The Demon King. Before I passed out, I saw him being bound and dragged to Carl Castle. <laughs> Carl Castle. He was right. We should have joined forces and prepared for their attack. Good luck reaching Carl Castle and accomplishing your minion, min, min, mission, little skeleton. Uh, I'm getting a little bit illiterate in my old age. May the deep forest bless you. Blessed me! Let's go! Bone Hourglass. Decreases swap cooldown by 0.5 seconds every time you use Skulls, Mutant, and Sorcery. Did we already have a Mutant? We did not, but we have Sorcery ranked 3 now. 40% cooldown reduction. Let's go! That ability wrecked that boss. Super good. It's been a while since I've gone outside. I was passing through the Forest of Harmony alongside the Demon King. Uh, oh, what? Uh, we were on our way to convince those seven fools and Carl. Uh, right as we neared the gates of Carl, the Demon King said it was about time we got acquainted. Then and there, a boy suddenly appeared. He appeared rather unsightly and was as if he was some sort of hero. A shabby cape and a broken twig. Was he pretending to be a hero? I was quite shocked to see this boy at first, but it seemed the Demon King knew him. The boy shouted a few cliché lines we've heard a million times and struck a pose. 
They then ran to the Demon King. After some initial shouting, they started chatting like good old friends. A boy is friendly with the Demon King. What a peculiar thing, I thought to myself. The boy struck a pose once more and said he wanted to go on an adventure and become a hero. Make his father proud. The Demon King flashed a bitter smile and patted the boy on the shoulder, telling him that he will be a great hero. I didn't understand why the Demon King was so kind to this little boy. Does he understand what it means to be a hero? The boy waved goodbye and left. After the boy left, I asked about him. He looked like a kid that dreamed of being a hero, just like any other kid that liked adventures. The Demon King proceeded to tell me the boy had some sort of ex unexplainable power. He then added the boy's power would save the Demon King castle, Carl, and even the continent of Harmonia itself. The boy would do all that. That little boy would do all that. How long would we have to wait for the little boy to become a great hero? How long can this connection between the two last? I decided to watch over the little boy. Ooh. Grand Hall. Well, hello. Wow, Skull, Skell Letton. <laughs> so good to see you here. What brought you here? You lost too? Be careful. The moment the humans see you, you, they'll come at you screaming. There's even someone who kept throwing a full moon at me. And why do you keep shooting? Do they keep shooting arrows from the castle? It's so dangerous. Somebody can get hurt, you know? Why do they insist on attacking us like this? Those pesky humans, so dreadful. They're awful. What do I have in my hand? I was passing through a lovely room and saw some gorgeous plates. I took a few. You want one? Don't worry. I took quite a few. Oh, we can't upgrade anything, can we? Yeah. Yeah, we'll need to pass pass some more. All right. In we shall go. Cheese it. Cheese it. Cheese it. Hey, 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 hey. Whoop, up, 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 up. Oh my god, the HP pools on these fools. HP pools on these fools is so much bigger. 10 damage, that does 10. Okay. Oh, boy. Use that blink. Use that blink. Use a blink. There's no reason to, like, engage in combat, though, is the, oh, is the thing. Like, why, why, why not just, like, cheese it, right? I mean, fun is probably the number one reason. Wop up. Oh my god. Get out of here. Got an ogre. It's all ogre now. Oh god, look at him. Thank yous, you saved me. They bad destroyed our castle, stole my things. But it doesn't I doesn't know how you got here. This is not Demon King Castle, this is Carl Castle. I don't know where the Demon King is or my things. The Demon King knows where my things are. Probably save him, little skeleton. And comes back to Demon Castle, promise? With my things, of course. Okay. You bet, buddy. You bet. Explosive arrow, fuse volcano. I think we had fuse. All projectiles explode on contact, dealing true damage. Oh. This is projectile. So what's fuse? Oh, we don't have two fuse. I thought we did. But what what is fuse? Plants a time bomb when swapping. Time bombs explode after two seconds. Of course, makes sense. Uh, volcano creates three bursting flames every 35 seconds. Weird. Weird. You know what? Let's go here for a, for a change. Let's go to the base one. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to get the uh, healing thing done and out of. Is it ever gonna die, man? There we go. So yeah, we apparently these explode doing true damage. I would imagine, you know, meaning it uh, ignores armor if it stands true to what true damage typically is. Here, that's my attack. Whoop! Bip, 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 bip! 
Map. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, shoot. Oh, hell. Oh. We did it. We used the ability properly. Poison blast, poison blast, poison blast. Okay. <laughs> Not long enough range there. Good. All right. Final phase there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. I got no skulls. Let's go. I got no bones. Let's go. Guys, it's pretty small radius there, I suppose. Womp. 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 <laughs> it's, it's relatively close range, but it seems like it's working just fine. Oh, boy. Like, why go down there, right? The game does not do a whole lot to penalize uh, camping. Yep. Except, like, just feeling bad. So I go down there. Like, feeling bad about camping, so I'll actually go down there and go and fight him normal style. Whoop. What the hell are you? Okay. It's the mage. She's, got, she's throwing plates at me. What? Okay. So that's an anti-camp enemy right there. Yeah, I tried. I tried to be I tried to be really cute there. Yeah, that's an anti-camp enemy. No. Whoop. What are you oh, so she's like slowly throwing more and more. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. No! Oh! <laughs> the maid got us. The enemy gained EXP from your defeat. I'm so curious by that. I that's so ominous. Are they actually leveled up? What's up with that? Let's return to our castle here. We we got pretty far. I mean, we beat the first boss on the first try without having any meta progress. Skull, I think I really have to tell you this. The day the first hero attacked us, do you remember? The ogre attacked us, controlled by a dark stone. You know by now, but that was no regular stone. The people who knew about those stones call them the dark courts. They carry unimaginable power. Seems like Carl is using them for military purposes. Once they begin to fully use the dark courts, they bring danger not only to Demon King Castle, but the whole continent of Harmonia. Luckily, the Carl Mage is incapable of using the power of the courts at its full potential. But we can't spare them any more time. Gather the quartz that they have. They should never gain the power of the dark quartz. She's just saying it too many times. I know the right way to use them. I'll help that by you help you by using that power skull. The magic scroll will show you the path that you become stronger. Let's do it. So how many uh, how many gem things do we have? Two. We have two hundred. Ooh. Okay. So what do we want? Magic attack increased by six percent. Crit rate. Quintessence cooldown. Ah, so the active items are called quintessences. Gotcha. Attack speed, movement speed, and speed type of skulls. Speed. Speed of speed type skulls by... Okay, interesting. Destroy squirrel items. Resurrects you with 0% HP one time. Uh, increase physical attack. Reduce swap cooldown. Skill cooldown. Can we just skip that okay i just wanted to see if we could skip over all right so i mean going for like physical damage and damage or and hp sounds like a, a good enough plan to me sure we'll increase our hp max hp by by 10 there sure we're at 110 now boom we've done done did it hello you look like you need help here Generates 30 gold per Carlian item you have upon changing maps. Ooh. I mean, that's that'll be for the next run, I guess. That doesn't look very good. This is better. Ooh. So, there we go. All right, we unlocked a couple NPCs to make it so we can start our runs out with things already. Uh, and, of course, we have a huge tree of things that genuinely, since it goes up to rank 10, 
will massively increase the strength of our run, which is why, uh, you know, not to, I'm not going to be too worried about only making it where we did. I don't even know how far, how uh, many bosses are far, far you can even go in the game, really. So it's not, not too much of a concern at this moment. Uh, but yeah, with 10 ranks in this, that means we could get up to 40% extra physical attack, 60% extra magic attack, an extra 50 HP when you start with 100. All this stuff, like, these these make a massive, massive difference, for better or worse. If you're somebody who likes roguelites with meta progression, this seems like it has so much, uh, so much. But, alas, that is going to do it here for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, especially due to the fact that it is a brand new series or mini-series. If you want this to be a full-fledged series... You give it as much support as you can so this first episode especially gets shared around. You can do that by liking, by commenting. Those are two very, very effective ways to kind of help out with this video against the algorithm, against, you know, a sea of other videos. But that is going to do it for today. My name is Retromation. I play roguelikes and more every single day. So if you like the genre, I think I'm a worthy subscribe for you. I put out videos on so many, <laughs> so many cool ones that you have and have not heard of. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. I will see you next time. Bye.